Hey everybody, it's Soaping Sunday and today we are going to talk about a tax mistake that I made that I want to share with you so that way you'll already know it going forward when you start your business or if you're already doing business. <laughs> because who knew that if you were purchasing essential oils from a wholesale company and using those essential oils in your soap and then selling that soap and charging taxes for the soap as you should. So for instance, I am purchasing essential oils in bulk from a wholesale company and then I'm going to take those essential oils, I'm gonna put them in soap and then I'm going to sell those soap bars and charge taxes on those soap bars as I'm supposed to in Massachusetts. Well then I am essentially getting taxes on both the original purchase and on the resale purchase but I can get a tax exemption on those essential oils that I'm purchasing in bulk from this wholesale company as long as I get approval from the state of Massachusetts. So how cool is that, that I can be exempt from those original taxes as long as it's approved by the state of Massachusetts where I live. So I thought that was pretty neat and I wish I had known that before because this is not gonna be my first time ordering essential oils from this company. However, this is a bulk order that I'm doing and so every bit when it comes to starting a business, every bit of money you can save definitely helps and while taxes aren't a huge part of the bill, in Massachusetts it's 6.25 percent. It still is money and if you can save that money legally then you should definitely take the time to get your tax exemption certificate. So I applied for it through the website of the seller of these essential oils and it went through the state of Massachusetts tax office where I needed to get approval. It took two days to get approval which the whole time I was like pending, 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 and I was nervous. I was like, oh, I really hope I get approval. Like, the really nice man on the phone that I spoke to through the state of Massachusetts said that I would qualify for it. I just needed to apply. So I did feel better about my status, <laughs> but still, you never know. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you the video I recorded myself applying for this and I'm gonna jump over to my computer and show that to you on how I applied. And then we are going to order some bulk essential oils and use our sales tax exemption to not have to pay those taxes today. <laughs> so off to the computer we go. <laughs> so the company that I order my essential oils from is New Directions Aromatics and I found that they have the best prices that I could find for the essential oils that I was looking for in bulk. So that's where I've been ordering from and have been happy with my orders. When I was looking to purchase another essential oil order, I noticed that they had asked about sales tax exemption. And so that got me looking into it further and in their facts section they had a lot of information about u.s state sales taxes because this company is based out of canada and so on can i be exempt from paying sales tax it says you can visit manage state sales tax exemption certificates in your my account section to learn more and to use our automated tool which will outline available exemption options for your destination states. In the vast majority of cases for our customers, the exemption reason will be the reselling of our products, either in a repack, rebrand, or manufacturing use situation. So that got me thinking, okay, well, I am making my own soap and I'm using these essential oils, so maybe I would qualify for that. And since I just got my Massachusetts sales tax license, I thought maybe that would assist me in this process. And so I started looking into it. So I went and clicked on Manage State Sales Tax Exemption Certificates, which once logged in, you can see all your account information. You can manage your state sales tax exemption certificates. And so I saw in here that I could apply for it through this company, but I wanted to make sure I had all my information correct. All right, so I went to mass.gov and I went down to their contact information. If you hear snoring, that's just my St. Bernard sleeping in the background.
So in the contact information, I called this 1-800 number for Massachusetts and I talked to a really nice guy to ask him about getting a tax exemption for ordering supplies for my soap business since I'm going to turn around and sell that. Apparently, you can get exempt. He said, absolutely, if I'm gonna take those essential oils and I'm going to make soap with them and then sell that soap, where people will pay taxes on that soap, then I do not need to pay the tax up front for a company that offers wholesale with tax exempt certificates. So that is really exciting news. So that was a mistake on my part for ordering before without doing the tax exemption paperwork beforehand. I could have saved money on that. So the nice man on the phone was saying that this sales and use tax registration certificate that I just got in the mail. This is my form ST1. He said the ST1 form is what these wholesale companies typically require in order to do the application for being tax exempt, which is awesome that that certificate can be used to do this. So what I'm gonna do is where it says submit certificate Massachusetts. I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna fill in this information. So this is an ad exemption certificate in the state of Massachusetts. So just one more story farm. They already plugged in my information, which is nice. I'm gonna hit save and continue. Ad exemption certificate for the state of Massachusetts. Select a reason for creating this document. So I'm gonna click purchase will be resold because I'm gonna take these essential oils and shea butter. I'm gonna turn it into a bar of soap and I am going to sell it. So purchase will be resold. There's a lot of different options here. So I'm gonna hit save and continue. Now if at any point this gets confusing, I will call New Directions Aromatics and have them help me out. But let's see if we can do it on our own. Let's see, add exemption certificate. You are completing the Massachusetts resale certificate for exemption resale in Massachusetts. So this is the form we're filling out, the ST4, sales tax resale certificate, account ID or federal ID number. So on my sales and use tax registration certificate, I have an account ID. So I'm going to stick that in here. SLS dash because on the phone he was saying I can use that information there from my sales and use tax registration certificate type of business in which purchaser is engaged so making business description of property to be purchased essential oils and base oils to use to make soap is this a blanket certificate covering multiple purchases or a single purchase certificate? I'm gonna go with multiple purchases because I'm purchasing what I can for now. And as I make sales with this new business, I'll invest in purchasing more. Signer information. My name. Signer title. I'm just gonna put business owner. These are so hard to sign with your finger. All right, so my name, business owner, Yannick Camara, and it's filling everything in over here as we go, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna hit save and continue. Processing exemption certificates. Let's hope it goes through. Your certificate for Massachusetts has been successfully submitted. Our team will validate the certificate and if valid, your future purchases shipping to the state will be tax exempt. If there is an issue during validation, our team will contact you. Congratulations, you have successfully created a document for customer 370. Okay, so print and download certificate. All right, we are going to allow the website to download this. This form is approved by the Commissioner of Revenue and may be reproduced. Okay, so I'm gonna print this. And look at that. I got my sales tax resale certificate all set. That's pretty cool. So let's see now if I go to my account. 
Okay, so my Massachusetts sales exempt certificate, it's currently pending. So we're gonna wait and see how long it takes for that to go from pending to completed. And hopefully it gets approved and then I can place my order. Okay, so in my cart, I do have some essential oils that I'm looking to order. The lavender essential oil, the 4042, is the one that I use the most. And in the past, I've gotten a 16.6 ounce bottle for $33.99. But this time, I'm stepping it up to the 33.3 ounce. I do want to start ordering larger bottles of the ones that I use a lot of in order to cut down on the cost per bar of soap. And so a 33.3 ounce bottle is $58.99. So there is savings there. I thought about stepping up to the 11 pound canister for $255. However, storing that large of a canister when right now I just have a cupboard dedicated to my soaping supplies. So I've used this size bottle. I'm stepping up to this size bottle. The $255 one is this canister. So this is something as my business grows, I'll have to dedicate more space to these larger containers for essential oils. But right now for just starting out, I'm going to gradually increase my size of essential oils for the ones that I use the most of. So I went with a 33.3 ounce in my cart. And Cedarwood Atlas is one that I use in quite a few recipes, so I also I'm ordering a 33.3 ounce size. I won't use that as quickly as the lavender, but I do love it as a base scent for quite a few of my scent blends. So I am gonna order that. I'd like to get some peppermint essential oils to use to make some Christmassy, wintry soap smells. So I went with the 16.6 ounce size for $26.99. I think I'm gonna step it up to the 33.3 ounce because of, I can see the savings and every few dollar does count and I feel like the peppermint is something that will sell well. So let's add the 33.3 ounce to here. And with everything for this business, I'm constantly price checking and making sure I'm getting a good price for my oils and for my essential oils. And so I saw that they offer Shea Organic Butter here on this wholesale website. And so, but they only offer it in 2.2 pounds or 55 pounds. And it's a big price difference. So I wanted to try this 2.2 pound tub. And if I like it, then I can consider investing in this larger amount of shea butter because my soap recipe does use a lot of shea. Shea butter is expensive. And so I like that I would have the option to go up to that. Right now, I currently order shea butter from Amazon. This one over here. So I've been ordering it in seven pound packages and a seven pound pack is $44.97. And so seven pounds is $44.97. So 40 cents an ounce, which I love how Amazon breaks it down by the ounce. So 40 cents an ounce. Let's compare that to New Directions Aromatics. So let's see, 2.2 pounds for $16.99. So this would be 35.2 ounces. So I'm gonna divide $16.99 by 35.2 ounces, and that's 48 cents per ounce, which doesn't surprise me because it's such a small quantity. And the smaller the quantity, the price is higher per ounce typically. However, let's look at this bulk purchase here, 55 pounds. So 55 pounds would be 880 ounces. So we're gonna take $248.02 and we're gonna divide that by 880 ounces and that ends up coming out to 28 cents per ounce. Now that's a pretty good cost savings when you compare it to 40 cents an ounce. When I double to a 14 pound, which is essentially just getting two seven pound packs, it's 54 cents an ounce, which is more than this, which doesn't make sense to buy in a pack of two. I'm not sure why they made it more expensive unless they're factory and cost of shipping somewhere in there. So purchasing these seven pound containers like I've been doing is cheaper than purchasing this 2.2 
pound container. However, I do wanna get a 2.2 pound container of this today because I wanna try this out. If I like this shea butter better than the Amazon organic shea butter that I get, then I'm gonna go ahead and buy one of these 55 pound containers. And I'm just gonna have to make another cupboard for that because I find that I'm going through my seven pound shea butter containers pretty quickly. And so that's something that I'm gonna need to get larger quantities of. And it being one of the more expensive products that I use, buying in bulk is gonna be the way to go as long as I know that I'll be able to sell these soaps and be able to use up 55 pounds of shea butter. So that is my thoughts on that. Now the other essential oils that I use, I do have enough still from my last order of New Directions Aromatics. These are the two that I have almost completely emptied the bottles on. And so I do need a big restock on these. This is something that I wanna make some winter soaps with, so I'm gonna stock up on this. However, my other orange essential oils, lemongrass and patchouli, bergamot, other essential oils, I do have more of at this time, so I'm gonna hold off on ordering those since I use those in much smaller quantities. Okay, so now that I'm happy with my order here, I'm going to go to secure checkout. Dear valued customer, due to surging demand and critical operational upgrades, we are currently experiencing some delays in order fulfillments. Your order may take an additional 10 to 12 days to process. We recognize the importance of your time and are rigorously working to enhance our service. Please know that these changes are designed to ultimately exceed your expectations. We appreciate your patience and loyalty. Thank you for choosing to do business with us. New Directions Aromatics. So there is a time delay, potentially, on here. So let's look and see what that looks like. So I've got my shipping address here. Oh, and look at this. Sales tax exemption certificate is already listed here for my shipment and it says it never expires. So that's amazing though, that I just have to do that that one time. Okay, so now for shipping, I can pay $10 for standard shipping. Shipping time is about 10 business days. And then keeping in mind that it might be an additional 10 to 12 on top of that for processing. FedEx Ground is saying November 29th. We're November 6th right now. So that's talking like 23 days from now, which may even be more time than standard shipping, depending on how that all goes. Same with FedEx Ground with Signature. We're talking about 23 days and that's an estimated delivery date. I assume they're factoring in the additional 10 to 12 days potential of processing, but personally, I'm gonna go with the cheapest option, which is the $10 standard shipping, and I'm gonna continue to payment. So if you look at my order summary over here, my cart total is 172.96, which is what the total was for just the essential oils. There's no tax on there. Standard shipping is $10 for a total of $182.96. On this amount, I would be saving $10.81 in tax, I believe. So while it's not a huge amount, that does add up when you're placing multiple orders a year for your ingredients for your soap. And so being able to just take a few minutes to fill out that application for a tax exempt certificate and then having that never expire is definitely worth the money that you'll save on each purchase. All right, so I'm gonna put in my credit card information to pay out of my business checking account. All right, so now that my credit card information is in, I'm gonna hit continue. All right, and I have just double checking my cart. I got the shea butter, small amount I'm trying. I've got a big lavender essential oil, a big cedarwood atlas, and a big peppermint essential oil for a total of 182.96. All right, time to invest in this new soap business. And hopefully this investment here is going to turn into a bunch of wonderful smelling soaps. Submit order. Uh-oh, it says my credit card was declined, most often due to incorrectly entered information. Let me try that again. Here we go again. That's always such an awful feeling when it's like card declined and you're like, oh my gosh. All right, now it's saying review and submit the order. Everything looks good. I'm gonna hit submit order, processing. Fingers crossed this goes through. Credit card error. Okay, turns out my bank was concerned that this was an order to Ontario, Canada. So they wanted to make sure this is actually me placing this order. So that's why it did not go through. So 
trying again, hitting continue, going down. I'm gonna submit my order. All right, my order has been placed. So apparently my bank said that because I was making this purchase internationally, this order is coming from Canada, you know, security and all that, they weren't allowing the order to go through on my card. So by calling them, they were able to allow for the next 24 hours me to make purchases to Canada. There's no block on that. So I guess safety, but thankfully I was able to place this order and it wasn't an issue of funds because so order has been placed. So we'll see. So hopefully I'll get this order in the next 23 days or so. But in the meantime, I have some essential oils to use. I did order some essential oils that are going to get here in a couple days from a different company in order to be able to have essential oils to work with currently while I wait for these to come through in bulk because I certainly don't want to stop making soap. And that's it. So thank you for hanging out with me today. I'll see you in the next Soaping Sunday. And if you haven't started soaping yet, what are you waiting for? Get your soap on. One, two, one, two, three, four. Do you want a farm? A wicked awesome farm. Watch this channel to learn what to do. We love to farm and we'll show you. Yeah. Welcome to our show. Welcome